So here in this video, we're going to show how using categories for your gradebook can be useful to balance out the weightings of your assignments um, within your gradebook and for your students' final grades. So the first thing to always look at when you're working on balancing out your gradebook is the weighting of the assignments or quizzes or final projects within your syllabus. So here we have an example waiting for some assignments, quizzes, and a final of 40% for our final project. So a total of 100%. So in our gradebook here, we're going to come in and we're going to add three categories, and then we're going to move our assignments and quizzes into those categories. So we'll add a category here, and we'll call this assignments. Now you can choose to have the maximum grade as 100 for your assignments. This doesn't really matter in terms of the weighting. Um, I'm actually going to set this to 30 so that it matches the final grade that the student would get for all of those assignments within the overall course. So 0 to 30 would be the maximum grade. And then we're going to hit save changes. So you'll see down here we have our assignments, they're weighted to 0 here. We're just going to do those all in one go at the end. So our next piece is our quizzes. So we'll add a category for quizzes. And we'll click category total. And in here, again, we're going to set our maximum grade to 30. So we'll save those changes. So now you can see we've got our assignments, our quizzes, each with a final grade of 30. And then we'll do our final project. And the nice thing about doing a category or something like your final project is that you could then break down the grade into different parts. So perhaps there's a research part of the project, perhaps there's a development part of the project, and then the final submission, those could all add up within this category to equal the final grade. So then in the category total here, we'll set that to 40, and we'll save those changes. So we'll click continue. And so in here, you can see we've got the weights in this column aren't set. So this is the important column here, our weights column. So for our assignment, we want that set to 30. For our quizzes, 30. And for our final project, 40. And those will all add up to 100. We're going to be moving all these other assignments into those categories. So I'm not too worried that this doesn't add up to 100. At this point, it will once we get things organized. So I'm going to save my changes there. Click Continue. And we can move things in one of two ways. So our first assignment is this Dropbox for our emerging technologies. We can click on the left of the assignment there, and then we can drop this into the assignments category by clicking here. Now more easily, um, if we have a few assignments to drop into that category, we can come across the right and check the box for each assignment. We'll include this time limit test as well. So we have three assignments that we're dropping into the assignments category. We'll scroll down and we're going to move those selected items into assignments. Click leave page, click continue, and you can see now we have all four of those assignments within that assignments drop box. Each of these has an equal weighting within that assignment. So essentially we can give students a mark out of 100 for each of those assignments, and then Moodle will do the math to make that weight add up to 30 for the overall weight within the course. And then we have a couple other things here as well. So we have our quiz. We will have more quizzes. So the nice thing about using categories again is that we can add quizzes as we go, but the category total will give a, an idea to the students of where they are for the quizzes they've taken. So basically at the moment, we only have the week two quiz, but we can add week three, week four, week five, etc. as we move through the course, and then that will all be contained within this weighted category. And then for the final project, our journal is part of that. So we're going to move our emerging technologies journal into the final project. And again, we can have that journal as one part of the project. And then if we're adding other assignments later on through the course within Moodle, then we can add them into that category as well. And that's actually what we're going to do in another video as part of this series. We do have this start your course here option. And if we don't want that to appear in the gradebook, there's a couple of different ways of doing that. One way we can do that within the gradebook itself is by creating a category that carries no weight. So we'll call this non-graded items. You can set most items up to be ungraded when you set out on your course, but if you have stuff that you've added a grade to later on, but you want to negate that grade a little bit later on, then you can create this non-graded item. So we'll leave the range the same. The students won't actually see this because what we're going to do is we're going to leave the weighting at zero and then we're going to hide this category. So 
when students look at their individual grade report, they won't see anything that's within this non-graded items within that grade book. So we'll click here and scroll down and we're going to put this intro item into our non-graded items. So now if we come back to our gradebook setup and we come to user report, we can pick a student here, we'll select a user, and you can see this is what they see. So the calculated weight within these four assignments is 25% for each assignment of the final of 30%. They're going to get a grade between 0 to 30, and the same for the quizzes as well. At the moment, the quiz is worth 100%, but as we add more quizzes into that category, Moodle will automatically distribute the grade to equal that 30. And then for the final project, the project documentation and the project submission, then we can get that to all be weighted within that category. And you can see they don't see that hidden item that we put in the ungraded section because we actually hid that within the gradebook. So from here, we'll jump back to our gradebook setup and you can see everything is nice and clean in here. We can obviously add more assignments, more quizzes in there, more content into our final project, and then we have our non-graded items. So if you do have any questions about setting up your gradebook or more complicated weightings that you need to do within, for instance, the assignments category, perhaps some of these assignments are weighted differently, then please do get in touch.